Hi everyone and welcome to the series of how to make it with HTML and CSS. My name is Selani Abdelkader and in this video we're gonna make a simple carousel with only using CSS. Uh, before we get started I want to thank Aimad and Visual Intelligent channel for uploading my videos. They do also amazing stuff in using uh, for graphics and design. Uh, and also by watching this video I'm assuming that you are already familiar with HTML5 and CSS3 keyframe animations selectors and vendor prefixes because we're gonna use them in this video so let's get started first we add a div tag with a class named CSS-carousel close the tag then we're gonna add the images I have here six images with the class CSS plus ENG for image. I'm gonna copy and paste that here six times. And we call a minute. This is two, three, four, five, and six. I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna preview it in the browser. As you can see, the images are here. So, now we're gonna style it. First, the body. I'm gonna give it a width of 11 double of pixel and the height of 500 pixel. Then, top the CSS carousel class I'm gonna give it the overflow haven so the other images will not appear for now and also we're gonna there is some common styling between the carousel and the image class I'm gonna give them together put them together so the width width will be 90% of the bottom, the height will be 90% also of the bottom, 90% of the bottom, the maximum width is 90%, the maximum height same 90%. I'm gonna add the position absolute and uh, let's start the animation that we're gonna include it in the css.image so to add animation we add add dash webkit dash k frames then we add the css dash animation dash frame so this is the name of the animation and this is like it's like a thank you now just to call the animation and for this one which is very important the webkit this is the vendor prefix each browser has a vendor prefix which work properly with it the webkit work only with google chrome uh, and the uh, safari browser the, the ms vendor prefix work with Internet Explorer, the old pre uh, prefix work with Opera and the most prefix work with Mozilla. Well, if you don't know what the user would use, what browser would the user use, then you have to include the four of them. Uh, for me, I'm using uh, Google Chrome, then I'm gonna use just the WebKit uh, prefix. But then we're gonna add gonna add it like the opacity I'm gonna work with the opacity the opacity starts ah, city starts from zero I'm gonna add it start from zero five percent it's gonna opacity I'm gonna go to one fifty percent opacity we go to one stays one two 
20% opacity will be 0 2 and the final opacity 0 so this is the animation is gonna do the fading animation so we're gonna play with the with the opacity of the images so here I'm gonna add opacity is zero the starting opacity and we're gonna add the animation now uh, inside the image class so dash webkit animation name is CSS animation fade and the duration the duration will be 30 seconds and what gets animation duration count we have the duration count in the in final night which is this what's this mean iteration count it means how much the animation will loop will play again we'll do it just in final as soon as it's reached the the end it will return back and start again without stopping so now also we're gonna add like uh, a delay for images so everyone will be appearing for after five seconds so how to do it we do we add css carousel then the css image and we add the selector and child two what is this mean and child two it means it's gonna select the child and child number two in this uh in this animation so it's gonna add bucket animation delay five seconds so the image number two will be appearing after five seconds the image number three will be appearing after 10 seconds and until the end so we're gonna copy and paste it here we're gonna add three four five six and we will be 15 Just uh, try this out. See how it looks like in the browser. Now I'm going to turn. Let's see what the browser. We're going to use just the dash here. I'm going to use the dash. The first image, then there is a fading and the second image. So the animation is working now properly as you can see. You just have to add some like some style to the how to center it or something like that. I'm just gonna we can add here border smash radius eight twenty pixel and here gonna add merging from left to five percent merging merging from the top maybe two percent save and preview it again as you can see it's it's more it's working it's more style than other but anyway i have included a file the final result in the description below you can download it and style uh, add your own style to it uh, you can include it directly in your uh, in your html uh, in your file in your website or web page directly so i guess that's it for today's video 
thank you for watching and see you in the next one peace